Hi right, guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at importing SVG files. But like always, let's start with a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We have a variety of different software to do cover and also we upload videos daily or training videos. So you can keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, today, uh, yeah, we'll be co covering the um, importing the SVG files. But before that, let me just remind you, this is a mini series on importing. So um, I will leave relevant links in the description so you can follow along. But then when it comes to actual uh, SVG files, this is a very, very nice um, file format. I think it stands for Smart Vector Graphics. So in other words, what this allows you is you can import um, vector graphics that has got text that can still be edited, groups and fills and all of that. So it's kind of, um, it's almost like importing a project file, but not. But the beauty of the SVG is it uh, goes across many different programs. So you can export SVGs from just about any uh, vector type program, which uh, makes it for a very, very nice pro uh, format to work with. But now back onto the actual importing. Now to import, there's two ways we can do this. Either we can navigate to the import icon. So one next to the save, you can see it's got a little save icon with a arrow to the paper. If you hover on it, it'll say import it. Then you know you've got the right one. Otherwise, you can also go to file on top and you navigate down to import. And when we click this, it'll pop up our import options. So what you want to do is navigate with your file browser here to the SVG file. And if you do not see it, just make sure you're under your type uh, files of type it is set to svg then once you've selected the file and um, unfortunately i see the preview does not work for svg files or the link so once you've selected it you can have to just click import it's going to give you this blue box where you want to import the file to i'm going to select some here because it's quite a big file let me just drag this more to the viewport now like i mentioned the nice thing about the svg file if we um, had to go to our text tool and then type, and we can actually still edit this text, which is great because we imported it from another program. And what you can also do is if we select this graphics, you can right click it and then let's say ungroup all. Now we can actually select individual um, graphics store from the design, move it around, change it. Like I said, this is a very great um, or great format for uh, going across multiple programs and so forth but yeah that is it on svg if we had to go to uh, software training or see ZA, guys will notice the like i mentioned um got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also we have this nice little search option so if you want to isolate your search and you're looking for anything specific you can always just go here and um type in what you're looking for and then if you still run dry and don't find what you're looking for, go here to request a training video. Then we will make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.